The moral complexity of bombing a concentration camp full of children. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. They're dropping bombs on a concentration camp full of children. They're dropping bombs on a concentration camp full of children. Not in the past, right now. They're still doing it. They show no signs of stopping. No part of opposing this should be remotely controversial. They're dropping bombs on a concentration camp full of kids. Even shitlibs and pseudo-leftists who get every other foreign policy issue wrong are managing to get this one right. It's that obvious. Anyone getting this issue wrong can be permanently dismissed without any real loss. No matter how much you talk about October 7th, it will still be a fact that Israel is raining military explosives upon a concentration camp full of children and that it urgently needs to stop. No matter how much you talk about how evil and bad Hamas are, it will still be a fact that Israel is raining military explosives upon a concentration camp full of children and that it urgently needs to stop. No matter how much you say the words human shields, it will still be a fact that Israel is raining military explosives upon a concentration camp full of children and that it urgently needs to stop. No matter how much you accuse Israel's critics of loving terrorists, it will still be a fact that Israel is raining military explosives upon a giant concentration camp full of children and that it urgently needs to stop. No matter how much you accuse Israel's critics of hating Jews, it will still be a fact that Israel is raining military explosives upon a concentration camp full of children and that it urgently needs to stop. No matter how many words you use or how much narrative spin you try to put on it or how many ad hominems you throw at the people criticizing what Israel is doing, it will still be a fact that Israel is raining military explosives upon a concentration camp full of children and that it urgently needs to stop. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and assume that the people arguing that it's necessary to keep dropping military explosives on a giant concentration camp full of children are on the side that will be judged negatively by history. A huge amount of Western depravity hides behind the unexamined assumption that killing people with bombs is somehow less evil than killing them with bullets or blades. By waging non-stop foreign bombing campaigns, the West desensitized the public to the reality of what bombs do. There's a <laughs> Fox News report saying, Source, Hamas terrorists were in Gaza hospital ambulance that Israel bombed. And here's a tweet by Jordan Ohl. Their source was the IDF. Yeah, Hamas are in the ambulances. Hamas are in the hospitals. Hamas are underneath the refugee camps. Hamas are behind the children. Maybe they're just massacring civilians. If a military power was just massacring thousands of civilians and then making up propagandistic lies to cover its massacres, would it look any different from what Israel's actions and statements look like right now? We are the terrorists. We inflict violence and fear on civilian populations to advance political agendas. We murder babies. We massacre women and children. The word terrorism has no meaning unless you apply it, first and foremost, to this murderous Western civilization. Not since Iraq has the U.S. Empire allowed itself to get caught looking this brazenly evil in front of everyone. It's always been the most murderous and depraved power structure on Earth, but usually its psychopathy is more hidden and harder for the general public to understand. And this is like if everyone was watching the Iraq invasion online in real time, with raw footage of the, all the civilians it's killing flooding their social media feeds 24-7. There's only so much propaganda spin you can put on that. I've seen so many dead kids while gathering information about this massacre. Never seen so many dead kids in my life. I'm already at the point where when I see kids around the neighborhood and I just feel reflexively grateful that they're standing up and moving and breathing with all their inside parts on the inside, like kids are supposed to be. 
When the Holocaust returned in the 21st century, it came denouncing anti-Semitism and wearing a Star of David. If you're among the millions of people who are coming to realize that the Western political media class have been lying to you about Israel-Palestine this entire time, you should probably be aware that they've been lying to you about every other foreign conflict as well. Israel created Hamas, in the same way punching someone in the same place repeatedly creates a bruise. If you abuse a population with extreme aggression and deprive them of any peaceful recourse, you're going to see violent factions emerge like a bruise on repeatedly struck flesh. Believing you can get rid of violent resistance groups with bombs is like believing you can get rid of a bruise by punching it harder, or by switching from punching to hitting it with a bat. The more you abuse the population, the more you're lending cause and legitimacy to the factions which endorse a violent resistance to your abuses. You don't get rid of the bruise with more abuse. You get rid of the bruise by ceasing the abuse and doing everything you can to help heal the wound. The last month has really brought out the best in the best people and the worst in the worst people.